I cannot believe I am already at this stage in my life, you guys, where I am researching preschools for Bailey and planning her third birthday. I'm like so sentimental over here. They're both napping upstairs. Both of the girls are napping and there's a lawnmower outside right now. So sorry, <laughs> that's annoying. Um, but yeah, they're napping and so I'm trying to prep Bailey's third birthday and I'm calling around different preschools and trying to research the best school for her. And we're probably gonna go tour some here soon, um, but I'm just calling around and just trying to figure out what school is gonna be the best one for her. And I also just purchased her birthday outfit. We're probably just gonna have like a small get together at our house for cake and presents and stuff. And then we're probably gonna take her to SeaWorld for her actual birthday. That's what she wanted to do. And um, Adam's parents are gonna be in town that entire week of her birthday, so that should be fun. And I've been online researching cakes for her birthday, and all she said she wanted was a strawberry cake that's pink and white and has glitter on it with unicorns. So I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off, but I'm gonna try. I've been on Pinterest like all morning pinning different cakes, and there's a lot of good um, cakes out there. I just don't know if anywhere in my area is going to be able to make the cake, um, but we'll see. I need to get on it though because her birthday is in two weeks. It's on the 17th. I'm in complete denial that she's turning three. I can't believe it. I feel like she's so big and just like so grown up. The past like couple of months or so, she's completely just grown into such a little girl rather than a baby. So it's so bittersweet, but I so enjoy seeing her grow and learn new things and develop into such a smart little girl. She's seriously so smart, like way too smart for her own good. It's kind of scary sometimes and she's so independent. You guys know, you see it in the vlog. She likes to do everything herself. So yeah, um, back to the preschool thing. I know she's gonna thrive so well in school. She has like absolutely no fear with making friends and she's so eager to learn and she wants to go to school so bad. But I know one of the requirements for most preschools is you have to be completely potty trained. And um, I mentioned in my Q&A that we were in the midst of potty training and we still are, it's still going great. She does still wear diapers for naps and bedtime and if we leave the house, but normally if we're at home, she's in underwear. And she rarely ever has accidents. Um, but today, actually for her nap, I decided to put underwear on her and I just told her to yell for me and if she needs me, I'll go up there and put her on the toilet. So um, I've just been listening out for her to see if she needs to go potty because she's still in a crib. And that's another thing is we're gonna be transitioning to a toddler bed here for her third birthday. I think that's gonna be Adam and I's um, big gift to her is transitioning her into a big girl room and just redoing her room and giving her a toddler bed and transitioning her out of the crib. And I think she'll do really well with that too. Um, but the reason why we've kept her in our crib is because she's shown no signs of climbing out or anything. She climbs into Shay's crib um, every once in a while, but she never climbs out of it or ever tries to climb into her crib or out of her crib. So she loves her crib, she sleeps great in it. So we just haven't seen a reason to um, transition her out of it. So. Um, but I think her third birthday would be fun for her to kind of transition her into a toddler bed and kind of redo her room for her. So we're really excited about that. It's probably going to be a slow process, but we will get her bed in there and then kind of like decorate little by little. And we'll show you guys the process and everything. I kind of have a bed picked out already. I have one in mind. I don't know if that's the one we're going to go with, but I am like 90% sure. Um, but I'll show you guys the process and everything. We're super excited, but just really sentimental. Okay, the lawnmowers are super annoying, I'm sorry, but Adam just texted me saying he's on his way home from work for lunch right now and if I could make him something and I need to eat too, so I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna be making for lunch. Um, they're really good sandwiches, I don't know what to call it, but I'll just show you what's in it. So I use that multi-grain bread and I just put some of this carving board turkey breast on it, it's the thicker slices, some tomato, and normally we use mozzarella cheese, but we ran out of it because we've been eating these sandwiches like every day. They're so good. And then I put some pesto on there and then a little bit of mayonnaise and some mixed greens and it's super good. I think I hear Bailey calling my name that she needs to go potty. <laughs> Are you going pee pee? Yeah. Okay, good job. How's your sandwich? The best sandwich maker ever. <laughs> it's not as good with Gouda though. Did you go put Bailey down in her crib? Mm -hmm. Did she went pee pee in her potty. She did? Mm -hmm. So proud of her. I have my sandwich and then my vitamins 
and I'm still going strong with my water. I haven't really been doing that great, but I'm trying. And a lot of you guys have asked me what vitamins I'm taking every day, and I explained it more, and I showed you each ones I'm taking in my New Year's resolution video, the one that I filmed before this one. If you guys haven't seen it, you should go check it out. I tell you each one I'm taking and why. Okay, I'm gonna make myself some coffee because I need a pick me up. And I still use this Vital Proteins um, peptides. I put it in my coffee usually because I don't really eat oatmeal or yogurt. So this is just the easiest way to get it. So I really need to repurchase it actually because I'm running low. But some of you guys have asked if I still use it every day and if I like it. And I really do. And I have totally seen a difference in my skin by using it. And my hair too. I feel like my hair is growing a ton too. What? Adam just freaked out because I let my friend borrow this for her gender reveal and um, she just gave it back to me the other day and I just hung it up here in our bathroom and he goes, hey babe, what is this? <laughs> he thought that I was like trying to surprise him was saying that we were pregnant but I just haven't erased it and <laughs> I'm sorry. He like freaked out. I'm so scared. The girls are starting to wake up from their nap, but I wanted to show you guys really quick before we head out. We have a couple errands we need to run. My new shoes that I got, I've worn them um, one other time, but I'm obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. I got them from Nordstrom not too long ago, but I wanted a white shoe that wasn't a workout shoe, and I'm obsessed with these. So I wanted to share them with you guys because they're super cute. And then my pants that I'm wearing are Levi's and I just paired this belt with it that matches the platform on the shoes. But seriously, how cute are they? I love them. I'm wearing the wrong socks with them, obviously. I should wear like a white sock or a smaller ped sock. But they're so cute, I love them. Okay, we're all dressed. You ready, Bailey? I am. This is probably the real reason why you guys clicked on this vlog because you wanted to see these Me two. Too. Yeah. Don't let the gloves fool you. It's like 65 degrees out, but she was wanting to wear gloves today. I don't know why. Well, you want Mickey. She thinks she's Mickey Mouse because she has gloves on. Ew. What are you doing? Are you guys ready to go eat some lunch? Yeah. She's cruising now, you guys. So she's having an Uncrustable, some raspberries, cherry tomatoes, and then she just ate her string cheese. And I put some of this in her thermos. It's like a strawberry yogurt drink, but I like it because it has probiotics in it. It's all gone! It's all gone! <laughs> Shay just had a bottle, so now I'm giving her a couple puffs while we wait for Bailey to finish her lunch. But she's getting the hang of how to like put these from her hand to her mouth now. She's getting so big so fast. Why are you so cute? Why? Let's see if she can do it. You put it in your mouth? She got it! She got it? Let's see if she can put it in her mouth. She yeah. loves looking at Bailey. Can you put it in your mouth, Bob? Say, ah. That's right, Bailey. You gotta say ah. Eh. Ah. I got a little cute. Put it in your mouth. You need help? Here you go. You want it? Good job. Almost. Okay, you guys ready to go in? Yeah. We are at the post office right now. I need to mail out some thank you cards that um, I wrote out for family and friends for gifts that we got for Christmas. And then we need to head over to Target because I want to get Bailey some more big girl underwear. And she's actually wearing underwear right now, huh? For the first time. She wears underwear at home, but I've never put her in underwear while we're running errands and stuff, like outside of the house. So this is her first time. And 
so far so good so we'll see if she tells me that she needs to go potty and we'll have to go find a bathroom this is gonna be like all new to me so I'm praying she doesn't have an accident I don't think she will what are you gonna tell mama if you have to go potty honey Good job! Yeah, that's what you're gonna say if you have to go potty, huh? Yeah. No accidents? Yeah. Good job, babe. I'm so proud of you. We're gonna go in the post office real quick, okay? Okay. She's still wearing her gloves. It's like 70 degrees out. Maybe a little cooler. It's real bad. Thank God for this little toy place in the middle of the post office. And you're just the best. You never make a peek. Well, Bailey just had a full on meltdown because we had to leave the post office and she didn't want to stop playing with the toys in there. I had to literally physically grab her and drag her out. I haven't had to do that with her in so long. Usually she's really good about listening to me, but she really wanted to play with that truck that was in there. But are you okay now, Bailey? We're gonna go to Target, honey, so you can pick out some big girl panties. Okay? She's she's still not very happy. This is what my life has become now. We're in the double cart now. I got this really cute wreath for Valentine's Day. And then I'll show you guys the underwear that I got for her once we get in the car. Potty. Bailey just went potty in public for the first time. I'm so proud of her. She just finished. She's pulling up her pants and we're gonna wash your hands, okay? Okay. I am so proud of you. Yeah, you I did want, so good. I want to call Dada. You wanna call Dada and tell him? Yeah. Okay, let's call him. We just got home from Target and the post office, and these are the underwear that I picked up for her. Um I'm not really sure what size she is, but there was another mom in Target and she kind of helped me out because she was looking for the same thing. Um, so I got just a couple of them to see which ones are going to be the best, but these ones look like they're the most comfortable, but we're just going to have to do like trial and error and see. And then this is the wreath. I don't know what you would call it's this a thing. Heart. Yeah, it's a heart for Valentine's Day. I thought it was cute on our pantry door. It's um, like felt material. I thought it was kind of cute. Do you like it? Yeah, I like Do you want to put on your new underwear? Yeah. You need to wash them first though, but we should probably try them on and see which ones fit you the best. You want to try some on? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. so proud of you. She was actually really sad on the drive home because I told her that in order to go to school, she has to not have any accidents and go pee pee in the big girl potty and so she thought that now that she went for an entire day without having an accident, she thought that she could go to school right away. And I, don't, I just don't think she understands. It's sad that it's a process. <laughs> huh. It's a process, honey. But she's fine now. She really wants to go on the school bus. Huh. I, I want to go on school bus. Yeah, she just doesn't understand. And you're not three years old yet, honey. You're still two. Your birthday is in two weeks. And then we gotta find the right school for you and the right teacher. Yeah. And then you can go to school. I want to go to I know you do, babe. But it's a process, honey, okay? Soon enough. And I don't even think you can go on a school bus um, when you're in preschool. I think you have to wait till you're in like first grade or something, right, babe? My school bus. I know, babe. I'm trying to figure out what to make for dinner. I don't really know yet. Probably tacos or something easy. Um, but I got this for Adam for Christmas, the Instapot, and supposedly it does like a bunch of different things. We haven't really used it much other than um, Adam used it to cook rice like the day after he got it for Christmas um, because you guys know he eats a ton of rice, so that's why I initially got this for him. But if you guys have any good Instapot recipes, let me know. I was just editing the vlog that you're watching right now and realized I forgot to end the vlog, so I wanted to come on and end it for you guys. I just put the girls to bed, and Bailey is actually in underwear for bed. We were not planning on doing this, but she didn't want to put a diaper on, I think, because um, she knows now that she can't go to preschool unless she's fully potty trained and wearing underwear, and she really wants to go to school, so she doesn't want 
want to ever put a diaper back on again, which I guess is great. It's super motivating for her, and I'm so proud of her. It was such a big day for her today. She went to the bathroom for the first time in public, didn't have any accidents today, and now she's sleeping for the first time without a diaper. Um, but she's in a crib like you guys know, so I don't really expect her to not have any accidents because she can't get out of her crib to go to the bathroom. So I'm not really holding my breath on that. We'll see how she does. She went to the bathroom twice before bed, so hopefully that will help. But I don't know. We'll see. I will update you guys on how she does. But I'm just so proud of her. She had such a big day and I can't believe she's turning three soon. I'm like in denial. I feel like she's just going to stay my baby forever. But she's growing up before my eyes and it's happening so quickly. And it breaks my heart. But I don't know. It's so bittersweet. But before I start getting emotional and like mushy gushy on you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.